can't call it passion anymore. You can't be passionate for 90 years. Mm. I'm enthralled. I couldn't live without mathematics. I've been doing it all my life and I enjoy doing it and I'm enormously pleased to carry on. You can't remain passionate in the sense of, after all, passion ceases at a certain point in your life. Mm -hmm. And what left range is a kind of calm, a spell cast over you. I've been spellbound, how about that? Perfect. <laughs> and where, okay, so if, if we are, you're spellbound by, by Matt, where, is there a point in your life when that first began that you can remember or a point when it really, like when did you decide maths was going to be what you were going to study, what you were going to do? Well, there's a family story, which is a myth probably, like Newton and the apple tree and so on. Yeah. Because when I was small, we travelled a lot and then this, and my father, and in countries where they use different currencies, mm -hmm. my father said, I always changed my pocket money and made a profit out of it. I did read this, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, and so he decided I was going to be a mathematician. I didn't think I was going to be a mathematician. Uh, like most boys, well, I didn't want to be an engine driver, but you know, once I, I like, wanted to be a chemist, I wanted to be, do this and do that. And I ended up being a mathematician, so he was right. Mm -hmm. But I didn't necessarily... I enjoyed being a mathematician, I was good at mathematics. Only once ever failed to be top of my class, and that was maybe very cross. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, yeah. 